welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election held in Nigeria on February 25, 2023, and the result announced on May 1st, March 1st, 2023, in a controversial circumstances uh, that is still being subject of discussion and is now uh, subject of uh, adjudication in the courts. That is why you see every day one of the most trending hashtags is all eyes on the judiciary because the person announced as the winner and who is running the country. Many people believe that he is not the one that won. But they are now depending on the courts to tell them actually who won the match or who won the election. Because, you know, just like uh, Bishop Kuka uh, made a, a, a statement the other time when he said that uh, the, the, the presidential election results were being told about who won the election, but we are looking at the VAR to tell us whether the goal was actually scored by the person who is who, who is who was announced as the scorer of the goal or the winner of the election. So that being said, uh, here I want to talk about to update us on what is go really going on in terms of uh, the certificate uh, scandal going on in Chicago, in which uh, Atiku Abakar of the People's Democratic Party is seeking the right to assess the documents, academic documents of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu from his Chicago State University, where he said that he attended and got a degree. Now, there have been so much uh, throughout yesterday, August 23, there have been so much uh, hashtags on uh, Chicago State University that was going on. Uh, but some of the things that people are posting in terms of uh, uh, things they believe was from the Chicago State University. I, I don't want to believe many of those things. Not that they may not be true, but I'm waiting for the Atiku Abaka camp to actually tell us what documents they have. Because many of the things that are being said may be true, but I really want a, a source like the Atiku Abakar camp, his lawyers in the U.S., or those who are operating directly from the U.S. But one thing is clear from one of the things I saw yesterday is that there are allegations in terms of Tinubu having U.S. citizenship uh, in terms of uh, that he cannot travel to U.S. and all that. But that's not the smoking gun that I'm looking for. That when I see it, I will know that this is it. But one thing is clear. By Tinubu rushing to, to court in Chicago, to stop Atiku Abaka, there is something really in the in the documents in Chicago, because if there is nothing to be worried about, I don't think that Tinubu will rush to the courts to to stop to stop the to stop the courts from uh, or to stop the university from giving out his documents uh, because what is there uh, because what is there if you attend the university and uh, you should be proud that your university should release your record it's not for you to be fighting tooth and nail to ensure that uh, the results from your university is not released to your arrival in fact you should be proud 
that uh, you attended Chicago State University and that you did well and that they should release the results to Atiku Abaka to prove that you are a man of integrity, that you have nothing to hide, that you are a man of impeccable character and that there is nothing to worry about your records. You should go and look at it. You should go and look for it. You should give it to Atiku Abaka. But when you are slow, when you are now uh, blocking everywhere to make sure that your records are not assessed, it raises a red flag, which is why I insist that there must be something inside those records that the president does not want Nigerians to know about. Because it is indeed ridiculous that instead of uh, uh, flaunting his Chicago University results, Tinubu is blocking it from Nigerians and the world. Nigerians in particular and uh, for the world to see it. And already the court has said that it has jurisdiction to hear the case. But that was the initial objection of uh, Ashwad Bola and Tinubu that the court does not have jurisdiction. But the court said that it has the jurisdiction to listen to the case instituted by the PDP presidential candidate. And uh, that set the stage uh, for the ju final judgment on this matter. But uh, Tinubu is resisting every effort to have his academic records at the Chicago State University release. Okay? when it would have been uh, proud to brandish the academic records to silence his opponents, but he didn't do that. He's still busy blocking, blocking, blocking the records. Now, we know that his academic records, a whole lot of it has been leaked, but not all of it, because David Hundi, a Nigerian investigative journalist has really done a lot of work on the on the Tinubu Chicago certificate, and uh, he has brought out so many things. Just go online, just type David Hundi in. You will see so many things he has done about Tinubu certificate and other things, including his forfeiture of four hundred sixty thousand dollars to the United States government. He did. He has done a. Uh, he has done a video documentary. Just that David Hundi, investigative journalist, a whole lot of his work will pop up, so that you see that a whole a lot of things have been done. Uh, because why I don't want to believe some of the things that came out, some of the things people are sharing on Twitter and all that. To me, those were not the uh, smoking gun. For example, they say he attended, he is uh, that uh, the information that leaked is that he is, uh, he has a university, he has a uh, American citizenship that uh, Bola Tinubu, the record, the record, allegedly had American uh, citizenship. Even if it is true, that would be easy for the Nigerian courts to just overlook that. They will, they will not have a war. Even the citizenship is it's not right. It's the constituents are against it. But I can tell you for free, it will be easier for these people to use technicality and uh, help him out. However, there are other departments that are really the smoking gun. It, these are the things that I will get to that Atiku Abakar is looking for. And if he gets it, that's the end of the story. Uh, as far as the Tinubu presidency is concerned, because in that case, even the the judiciary, no matter how uh, uh, amenable they are to pander to the government in power, may not be able to help at all. Okay, so there is 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 an issue that uh, we are going to look at it uh, because. Uh, let us look at some of the things I think we was requesting for.
which makes these things interesting. Atiku Abaka uh, is requesting for any documents or objects, tangible and intangible, from which information may be derived belonging to Aswadibola Mejinebo. According to the paper file, according to the filings by Atiku Abaka's lawyers, this will include assignment, periodicals, courseworks, photographs, text messages, agreements, correspondences, electronic or video recordings of any type, and the electronic data which must be produced with all their metadata and the name of the custodians. Atiku Abaka also asked for all documents produced by Chicago State University in response to any request by subpoena or otherwise by Mr. Tinubu or any other person for Chicago State University records relating to Tinubu. Now, this is what an observer noted about these things that Atiku is asking for and why it could be this the smoking gun that will nail everything against Tinubu. This observer noted that uh, Atiku is, is trying to establish that one, the certificate Tinubu submitted to Independent National, National Electoral Commission did not come out of Chicago State University. That's number one thing Atiku want to prove. He want to prove that the certificate of Tinubu that is with INEC did not come out of Chicago State University. If he can prove that, if they can release those documents and they compare it with what is with INEC, that is the game changer. Matter close. Because the university will have the original results. So if it is if it doesn't correspond with INEC, that is the game changer. That will be the smoking gun. That is what I'm looking for to see. I'm not about that uh, Tinubu has dual uh, citizenship or that he can't travel to the United States. That is not the real gist. And that's why I tell you, the article lawyers, when they assess this thing and bring it out, that is when we really know the smoking gun. And this is the smoking gun that Atiku is looking for. When you hear this one, you know that the game is over for Swadi Malambe Tinubu in terms of this presidency. If the Atiku Abaka lawyer in the United States tells you that this certificate that they have seen from Chicago State University is different from what is what was tendered at the election petition tribunal or what was submitted to INEC, sorry, to INEC for the election of 2023. If they are not the same, signed by the same person, signed by the same authority, then it is game over. It is game over. That will be the real smoking gun that Atiku will use to end the Tinubu's presidency when he can get that. So if they release it and they find out there is a difference between these two. Forget about it. I don't think that any justice will have any reason to defend that. It is game over. Now, another thing Atiku is looking for is that all the subsequent documents tendered by Olani Pepo, senior advocate of Nigeria, is the lead lawyer of Tinubu. On Tinubu's behalf, and uh, reference in his final address are fake. It means that article also, one of the things he's trying to do is this. There were documents that Olani Kweku, senior advocate of Nigeria, the lawyer of Tinubu, tendered in their final address. So article is trying to prove that those documents were allegedly not real documents that emanated from Chicago State University. So if he's able to get that, that is another uh, smoking gun that 
Nobody can help you in the water field. Now, number three is that Atiku is trying to find out that those documents, the one tendered in the court, the one tendered in the IMEC, did not come out of Chicago State University or were fraudulently procured and certified with connivance of dirty corrupt officials of uh, Chicago State University without proper certification process of the university. So that's why Article is asking for all the certification process. All the certification process of Chicago State University, Article is asking for it. And the Article is asking for all the certifications that Tinubu got throughout his period in that university. Another thing he is trying to prove also is that if those documents were not in line with the due process of getting them, those certifications, Atiku will now therefore show that uh, Chicago State University officials are downright corrupt and compromised. Now, the implication of all this will be very grave and will have devastating effect that will lead to a radical change in the political establishment as we know it today. Uh, because one, we know what happened to Bayesa State governor-elect of the All Progressive Congress when the deputy governor, governor-elect, governor was found to have forged a result the election was annulled. The result was annulled, and the PDP was declared the winner of that election. Okay, so that's the, uh, the kind of implication it will have. So it's, it's, it's really the smoking gun. When you get that one, you will now know that that's the game changer. It's not about the dual citizenship. Those ones, as far as the uh, supporters and promoters and defenders of Tinubu are concerned. Those, those ones are like more and more to them that Tinubu has dual citizenship. The real issues are the certificate, certificate issue. Are they real? Are they real or are they allegedly fought as Article is insinuating? That is the real thing. Is the $460,000 that Tinubu forfeited to the United States government, is it, a, is it classified as a crime and a sign of dishonesty as contained in Section 137 of the 1999 Constitution, which stipulates conditionalities for somebody to be disqualified from participating in the election? Already, the Supreme Court has ruled about forfeiture and that it is a crime in Nigeria. You cannot forfeit unless you have committed an offense. For future, it's evidence of commission of offense, commission of crime. It's evidence of dishonesty. Okay, so that is the, the as far as I'm concerned, the smoking gun. However, what you should know now is that the real battle now is in the United States. In terms of uh, the issue of the certificate, alleged certificate forgery, is in the states, the United States, because it is one issue that Tinubu could easily get away with from the Nigerian judiciary. But I doubt if it is true what Atiku is pushing for, he can be able to maneuver his way out. But you never know, this is law. They say law is an ass. But whatever it may be the case, that is the smoking gun that Atiku is looking for. To see any, to compare the results from Chicago State University with the results that were submitted to INEC. Are they the same? Are the age record the same? The age that he put as a student in Chicago State University, is it the same age that he submitted to INEC? in the sworn affidavit and all that. Those, to me, are the uh, smoking gun. But 
one of the things you should take away from this is that the battle for the soul of the presidency of Nigeria has moved from the presidential election petition tribunal in Nigeria temporarily to the United States, where the battle is on about the release of the of the certificate of Aswadibola Mechilibu, which he acquired as a student at Chicago State University. That is what is on board right now. That's what we all are waiting for. That is what the whole world is waiting for, to get the authentic certified result from that university and for it to be compared with what was submitted to INEC. When there is a difference between two of them, that, my friend, will be the smoking gun, the game changer. In that particular aspect, only we're not talking about the $460,000. We're not talking about the 25% that is compulsory that a presidential candidate must get before he can be declared winner of the election. And all other issues of election malpractices, uh, including that Tinubu allegedly did not win River State and Bego State, which was allocated to him, and so many other matters standing on his way in retaining his position as the president of Nigeria. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, I hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. Uh, please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.